All right, if you're watching back home and you want to know how this format works, it's a multi-day entry format, real similar to the poker world. These anglers had a chance to fish either Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. They could have entered Wednesday, made the top 20% in advance to Championship Sunday, or they could have not entered Wednesday, or they could have entered Wednesday and not made it, and they can re-enter on Thursday or Friday or Saturday. They don't have to fish consecutive days. They can kind of pick and choose based on the weather, and this week we had some crazy weather predictions. So Thursday's flight, I believe, only had like five boats, and then Saturday was gonna be real bad in the morning, so we only had five boats, but on Friday we had 11 boats. So. It makes it very flexible for the anglers. It's a very high return on investment as well. We paid out 20,000 guaranteed at this price pool. We've had some stops where we paid 20,000 for first. We're just kind of getting the concept out there for people to be able to come and fish. So thanks for uh, coming out and supporting us this week. Somebody today is gonna walk away with $10,488. Second place is gonna be $5,244. Third place is $1,748. The seven teams that punched their tickets to Fish Championship Sunday was David Ryan and Joe Springs. They weighed in 1767 on Wednesday. Second place on Wednesday was Charles Edgar and Steve Fowler. They weighed in 1672. Thursday, we had a crazy big bag of 2324. Fishing like the old days here on Truman. Mark Regal and Junior Shin weighed in 2324. Friday was the day we had 11 boats, so three people punched their tickets to today. 1959 was Quentin Carr and Cody Campbell. 1874 was Blake Heider and Zach Woods. And then last but not least, the third was Darren Langford and Sean Bowling, weighing 1768. Saturday, we only had five boats, and the winning bag of that day was 2051. So we've had two 20 pound sacks this week out of 28 boats that fished. Josh Blaze and Taylor Brassel weighed in that 2051. So stay tuned, anglers are coming to the tanks. We'll get them, uh, get them weighed in here in just a few minutes. If you guys have not checked out Truman Lake lately, Truman is fishing really well. The city of Warsaw is a great host city. You also got Clinton next door. Lots of lodging available, lots of things to do other than just fish. All right, so we do have a big bass sponsor, which is Clutch Swimbait Company. He's also in the field fishing and qualified today. The winner of the big bass will win a Clutch Swimbait here that we have on the table. I just have the box closed because it's been windy. Current big bass is 588, so if any of the anglers have a big bass that's bigger than 588, let's get that weighed. We'll weigh your sack first today. So we're gonna have all the anglers at the tank. We'll weigh your sack first. We got a refresh tank behind the podium here, and then we can pull out your big bass and weigh it separately. We're gonna wait until we got everybody at the tanks. We're gonna check all their fish. Then we're gonna go through this so everybody can kind of visit at the tanks and how they caught them and hear everybody's on the mic. We're gonna pass the mic around today and get some feedback. We don't do that on the qualifying days because we don't want to give out too much information from anglers on how the lake's fishing and change the way the, the fishery will fish, so try to keep it as hush-hush on accident. I did a slip yesterday and asked Clutch if he caught any on a glide bait, and he got two or three of those on a glide, glide bait. That was my bad. I was excited to hear that a sponsor was using his own baits. Wholesaw Batteries is one of our sponsors, Boatworks. If you guys have not checked out Boatworks and Baitworks down in Springfield, there's also another location here in the Ozarks. Check them out. Sportsman's Training Center, Prairie Land Partners, K Gardley Free Gutter Company, which is where the guaranteed money comes from, Academy Sports and Outdoors, Clutch Swim Bait Company, which like I said is the big bass sponsor, Mike Bean's Shelter Insurance Agency, DW Creative Marketing, Casking Rods and Reels, Temptation Tackle, and Garmin. Speaking of Garmin, Garmin is looking for, uh, if you're looking for a career, Garmin is looking for people part-time and full-time. They also have some high school program now that they offer. I run the Kansas Youth Bass Program, and they are, have a new high school program for kids that I believe are 16 and over, so they can learn ins and outs about customer services as we take graphs home and work on them and and, uh, and learn a lot about the fishing industry. So and you don't have to just do fishing. They have golf and everything else. So as soon as we get everybody up here, we'll get this thing started. We'll get two people in each tank on both sides. All righty, looks like everybody's almost up to the tanks. We got three more bags walking up right now. I also want to thank my help. Bob Beery, Steve French, and my wife, which is our Waymaster today. Amanda Birch for helping me out. We will be passing the mic around today as you guys weigh in to hear a little bit about how you guys caught them. We're going to go ahead and get this show started. It looks like we got everybody at the tanks here. So weigh in first is going to be David Ryan and Joe Springs weighing five fish. Take them straight to Amanda and put them directly on the scale. Weigh in five.
Did it lock in? Locked in at 967, 967. Want to hold up a few for a photo there, David? Man, I think I'm good. You're good? <laughs> Can you come over here for a minute, though? Yeah, absolutely. I just kind of want to talk to David a little bit about the format. What did you think about the format, David? Absolutely. The format is great. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to actually fish for some money, not just a couple thousand dollars. And guys need to realize that the more guys who show up, the money gets better. So, tell your friends. That's just part of it. I mean, it's. I think it's a great format. It gives you an opportunity to fish for more money than what we normally fish for, and, and you can't ask for anything better. And uh, you, you really played the strategy card. I, I think you blew up my phone probably more than anybody else, uh, <laughs> trying to figure out what was the best strategy. And he's. I might went fish Wednesday. I might fish Friday. I might fish Thursday. How does that go into your thought process on on choosing this? Well, it also plays into what type of fisherman you are. I mean. I excel usually on sunny days, not falling torrential rains, <laughs> but sunny days I, I like because it puts fish on targets and, and I'm, a, I'm a cranker, a spinnerbaiter, a flipper and, and uh, I eat up water. I mean I stand on that trolling motor and, and, uh, and I hunt them down and uh, you know, this way it kind of gives a person an opportunity to look at the forecast and be able to say, hey, you know what, it's going to be cloudy, it's going to be overcast, I think, it's, I think that it's going to be a better fishing day that day. Typically, whenever I like to fish it, because I've fished all over the United States, I, I love those tougher days, typically on like today, but I was kidding around with everybody. Today is the first day I've ever played a big time fish in Kentucky on Truman Lake in any tournament in my career. So, it's just one of those deals. I mean, everybody has fish come on, but I mean, it's part of it. But, but uh, you know, it, it, by having four qualifying days, it gives the angler not not only a second chance, but he can pick his weather and what he, what he wants to fish. If only you could pick your championship day weather, right? All right. Thanks for fishing with us, man. I appreciate it. We uh, will uh, see if 967 holds up, but <laughs> <laughs> we know it probably won't. <laughs> All right, coming to the scales, we got Josh Blades and Taylor Brassel weighing five. Locked in at 1330, locked in at 1330, your brand new leaders. You guys want some photos? Where's Taylor at? No? No photos? You guys are light leading, I need a photo just in case. I already stand there and look at those cameras there. Capture. Capture. All right, Table Rock Fishing Intel grabbing some photos as well. All righty, guys, currently in the lead with 1330. Josh, you want to say anything or Taylor? Sure. So this is Josh. He's one of our uh, sponsors here. He's been sponsoring the Big Bass this season with Clutch Swim Bay Company. If you guys have not checked those out, check them out. How did you guys catch them yesterday? Yesterday, well, obviously a lot better than today. Uh, Shatterbaits and uh, live baits uh, seemed like the big thing was you know, kind of steeper banks to shallower transitions and just kind of a little bit off the bank, twitch twitch, and boom, there she is. So what changed today going from 20 pounds yesterday to 13 pounds today? Everything. We had to completely scrap it today. Today we caught them on shaky head and jerk bait. Yeah, live bait and chatter bait was not working for us. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you uh, fishing with us, and we fish you, uh, appreciate you sponsoring the Big Bass of the Year, too. All righty. What team number? Boat number two is coming to the scales. Quentin Carr and Cody Campbell are current Big Bass leaders as well. Weighing five, right? Locked in at 1666, 1666. Your brand new leaders, we need to get some photos. Is your partner available? Okay, he's coming. These guys have a big bass of 588 this week. 
Edged out the second biggest, which I believe was 565. Going off of memory on that one. You guys could just step here in front of the trailer. Cable Rock or Truman uh, Lake Fishing Intel will grab some photos. We'll also grab some photos from our camera as well. Capture. Capture. All right. Appreciate you guys fishing with us right now. You guys are our current leaders. We'll put those fish back in the bag and kind of pick your brain on how you guys caught them today. You want to talk or no? <laughs> All right. Well, this was your first time here? Yeah, first time. First time to Truman Lake. Uh, well, I fished up here at Truman this first time fishing with you guys. Oh, okay. Good. I thought you said it was your first time here. I was like, ooh, that's... Crazy coming to Truman, your first first tournament here. We fished up here the last two years, a little bit off and on. Usually fish palmy mostly. You guys are currently leading. How did you guys catch them with the 1666 bag? Uh, on Friday we caught them all on a jig, a chopper's jig, and uh, did catch one on a spinner bait on Friday. Today we caught them all on a Carolina rig. Actually caught two of them on a Carolina rig and three on a football rig. Awesome. And how did you like the format? Format's great because we we like cloudy and rainy days when everybody else hates the fish. It's raining and miserable. That's what we like. So he's able to fish on Friday when nobody else really wanted to fish, which actually turned out to be the biggest deal. Yeah, I think the predictions kind of fooled some people this week. Thursday was supposed to be bad and it ended up not being bad at all until like 2 o'clock or 1.30, right. whatever it was. Friday wasn't supposed to be as bad and it, it pummeled on you guys all day, but you must have had more accurate weather than I had. <laughs> Alrighty, man. Thanks for fishing with us. You guys are currently in the lead. Alright, boat number six. Mark Regal and Junior Shin. Right, Weighing five fish. Come on up. Put them right on the scales there for Miss Amanda. These boys laid the hammer down on them on Thursday with a 23-pound sack. Locked in at 12.55. 12.55 currently puts you guys in third place, which is above the check line. We'll see if it holds. You guys want some photos or want to talk? Yeah, your name. <laughs> how did you guys get? How, I want to know how you guys got that 23 pound bag on Thursday. Square bills. Square yes. bills. Brown timber or rock or? No, brown rock. Brown rock. Okay. Um, how how are the fish progressing on here? So we have Truman Lake fishing intel here. How are the how are the fish in your opinion progressing? You mean spawn wise? Yeah. Are they are they moving uh, up or? I'm not real sure. They're getting close if they ain't already there. We got a little bit of both pre spawn in. Awesome. And then, uh, what do you think of the format? I like it. Awesome. You guys going to come back and fish when we come back to Truman? Oh, probably. We're going to see you at the Lake of the Ozarks on the river down here in Warsaw in a couple weeks? Probably or it's like not. five weeks. No? Is it five weeks? I think it's a... I'll have to look at it. Yeah, it's five or six weeks away. I don't know I'll the exact date. So on, on hand. I should have that written down since we're live. But I'll see what the dates are. Awesome. Sounds good. We appreciate you fishing with us. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. Let's, I'll hold your fish real quick. Go get your big fish weight real quick. They're going to weigh one for big real quick. Uh, I got it. Steve, will you hold this real quick so I can click the button? They want to weigh one for big first. Four fifty-four. Four fifty-four. Bring it back and combine it and we'll, uh, we'll weigh your whole sack there. This is Blake Hyder and Zach Woods, by the way. Blake Hyder and Zach Woods. All right, put that sack directly on the scale for Miss Amanda there. Currently to make the cut is 12.55 for the third place check line. Locked in at 14.96, 14.96, moves you guys up into second place. Nice five fish limit there, currently has you guys in second place. Capture, capture. Thank you guys for fishing with us, we'll get some questions from you real quick. Come on up. I'll make it easy on you. How did you catch them? Uh, we caught everything all week, either on a brick board or a rock. Any special colors? Uh, no, not really. No? Uh, Didn't know if it changed as the like, water yeah. water got muddy if you went to more chartreuse or it was more crawl color? No, uh, just crawl color. Crawl yeah. colors. Yeah, we don't fish this lake. It's the first time. First time fishing this lake. You guys are currently in second place and could potentially cash a $5,000 yeah. check. What do you think about that? I'm pretty excited. I like this. You like this format? Yeah, it's good. You guys gonna come uh, fish Warsaw or Wilson? I don't know about either one of those, but we'll be here next year. Man, if you've never been to Wilson Lake in Kansas, you're missing out. Good frog and topwater lake, especially when we're gonna be there. So we'll see you guys. Thanks for fishing with us. You guys are currently in second place. What team number? 
All right, team number three is Darren Langford and Sean Bowling coming on up. Weighing five fish. <laughs> Locked in at 1681, 1681 for the lead. Your brand new leaders. Let's get some photos. You guys are winning bag. Get up there and get some photos, brother. Capture. Capture. Your brand new leaders right here. Give them a round of applause. 1681. Woo! You only have one team to weigh in after you, so you guys are for sure above the Kachek run. We'll see if uh, Charles Edgar and Steve Fowler have enough to beat you guys. How many win? Five. All righty. Well, let me ask some questions first. I about forgot. How did you guys catch them this week? You guys are in the lead. Yeah, that's awesome. We uh, we caught everything on a six inch black lizard, dragging a six inch black lizard. You had to hit three or four foot of water, all at the roots, base of the trees. Um, that's we caught a couple today on a green pumpkin brush hog, but couldn't really get them to bite the brush hog too good, so we switched to the lizard. They were eating dead. Then this team behind us, we watched them catch all the fish we missed. They come in behind us and caught their lemon, I think. So. <laughs> he said, thanks for leaving some back here. Uh, so what do you think of the uh, format? Oh, it's pretty cool, especially when you're leading. Now, right. I, if I lost by three ounces, like a couple of these guys I know that didn't qualify, it'd be a bummer. I wouldn't like it. But this is all right right now. There was some real close calls this week. Uh, there was. One team missed by, I, like, I think, less than a quarter ounce twice. And that's and they I, were huge sacks, 17 yeah. pounds or whatever. I don't mean to rub it in on that team that lost by .03 and then point three, but they've like beat all of us a hundred times out here, so it's good for them. So they've earned enough boats and cash out here that it, right. it didn't stink too bad? That's right. All right, well, I'm pretty sure they were pretty pretty stunned though, so we appreciate you fishing with us. See if it holds up. Your final team coming to the scales is Charles Edgar and Steve Fowler. Come on up, weighing five fish. Is it enough to overtake 1681? Check line is 1496. 1281 on that sack, which is a fifth place sack. 1281. You want to hold up some for a photo, Charles? No. no. All right. We appreciate you fishing with us. Care if I ask you a few questions? Only because I found out that this guy used to own the transmission shop when I played baseball in elementary school. Sold that to your brother? Or, right? Actually, to a friend. To a friend. Okay. But now owns the transmission shop here, right? I own one here. Yeah, but what's the name of it? Give yourself a shout I out. You got Truman Lake right here. Well, yeah, it's CNC Valley Transmission. Some of my out here in the crowd somewhere. All right, so CNC? Yeah. Yep. All right, CNC Transmission, Valley Transmission. CNC Valley Transmission. Right. So appreciate Charles coming out. I appreciate him sponsoring me when I was a kid, which is what I got into fishing, running tournaments, is to do the Kansas Youth Bass Program and sponsor kids to fish. So I appreciate you. You kept me outdoors. So how do you like the format? I love it. We love do it again. Awesome. So you want me to come back? Oh, yeah. All right, we'll be back in a couple weeks right down there. Yeah, at least we didn't have time to go <laughs> tree today. Right, yeah, exactly. Awesome, man. I appreciate you guys fishing with us. Let's go ahead and announce some winners here and hand out some trophies, and then we'll get the big fun check, and then we'll give you the real check that you actually want to cash afterwards. So our total winning weight here. Let me get some music going. All right, first place, weighing 1681, and you're Truman Lake World Fishing Tour champions. Darren Langford and Sean Bowen, come on up, weighing 1681. All righty, let's get you guys some trophies and we'll get second and third up here as well. Be careful, these are crystal. I do have a case for them. All right, so first let's grab some pictures of those. And then here in a minute, we'll get second and third place up here. Capture. Capture. Winning $10,488, Darren Langford and Sean Bowling. We'll get you guys a, tr or a way to put that up real quick. If you guys want to put that in there, then we'll get you guys a check. And Alrighty. We're going to get you a big check. Bob, can you grab the check for me? We'll get a couple pictures with their check. $10,488 check. And then second place, we'll need Carr and Campbell come up, weighing $1,666. We'll give you guys a plaque and, and also some money as well. Third place was $1,496, which is Hyder and Woods. 
right, $10,488 winners, Darren Langford and Sean Bowen. Capture, capture, capture. Okay. Second place, if you guys come on up, Carr and Campbell. Get a couple pictures with you guys for second place. For the courage I possess through the drama. Yeah. Is for the hurt, but it's All right, we'll get a few photos real quick. These gentlemen are taking home $5,244 for their efforts this week. Capture. Third place, weighing $1,496, taking home $1,748 for their effort, is Hyder and Woods, Blake Hyder and Zach Woods. few photos real quick here see a lot of this stuff on Truman Lake fishing intel guys make sure you guys check out his site lots of good content thank you guys capture alrighty and big bass was 588 which was Carr and Campbell as well so I'll give that to you guys when you guys come back up to grab your check just don't let me forget if you guys are online Thanks for watching. We'll be at uh, Wilson Lake here the first weekend of June, and then two weeks later, or three, or no, second weekend of June, sorry, third weekend of June, we're right back here in Warsaw, but we're taking off out of the river fishing the Lake of the Ozarks. That event is currently $26,000 guaranteed, so a little bit bigger event than this one. Wilson Lake is $20,000 guaranteed, so it'll be set up almost exactly like this one. So if you guys live around here in Warsaw, you better get your practice on, because we're going to be back in just a few weeks. I would like to thank all of our sponsors, Wholesale Batteries, Boat Work, Sportsman's Training Center, Prairie Land Partners, Hagar Leaf Free Gutter Company, which makes this possible, Academy Sports and Outdoors, Bait Works, Clutch Swim Bait Company, Mike Beans Shelter Insurance Company, DW Creative Marketing, Garmin, Cast King, and Temptation Tackle. And also a huge shout out to Truman Lake Fishing Intel for all the help getting some word out here down here at Truman Lake. So thanks. We're going to go ahead and end the live feed and end the recordings, and we're going to get some English paid. We'll see you guys soon.